It's Saturday, good people, and you do know what that means. It means it's another edition of the Saturday Show, keeping you in the know. The Grind Show, which keeps you informed with stuff that's coming into the game, or expiring in the game, or something you should like take into consideration for the following week. The Grind Show. Let's get into it, shall we? And as a lot of you do know, that uh, this is put together using the MCC calendar, and as well some information from me as well, um, from Dan Frontline MCOC. You can check out the links in the description to guides and other information that he puts out. This is an important time, especially when it comes into December, because there's going to be a lot of events that are going to drop in for the game, and we're going to cover that, or have covered that, in some other content. So let's begin with Saturday. Now, as a lot of you know, we are day two into the Cyber Week, deal so that's something to mention that if there's something you want to acquire I will probably do some other content not in this video but you're on day two of what will be a few days running of this event so make sure that you uh, grab stuff whilst you still can but there's other things going on Saturday it is also AQ enlistment yes as soon as an AQ comes it's time to enlist in for another one so expect another couple of days that you're gonna be seeing another AQ which is <sighs> Fun times, yes, very fun times in another AQ. It shouldn't be scuffed this time, but there you go. It's also going to be Incursion, Milestone, Reset, something that's very important to the latter point to this week. It will be a refresh of those zone bonuses. On Sunday, first of all, it sees that there will be a Tier 4 Basic Arena, so if you are looking to grab that, some people are, then oh, indeed kind of go for that. Second thing is to let you know is that uh, this should be when a new AQ cycle begins. It may be a case that this may be pushed into Monday, depending on how things go, but you're definitely enlisting when it comes to Saturdays, I would say, because the sequence ended Thursday, it means that it will be a case Sunday will be the start point. Man, that's the thing. It's also day three of the Cyber Weekend deal, so if you're looking to grind arena, then at least to say that you've got a little bit of time to grind said arena before it's in the case that the Cyber Weekend deals end and you're left disappointed by the end of it. There's also nothing really else going on, so if there's something that you want to complete, I mean, for me, I should be kind of, I think I've banked in enough time to 100% cavalier difficulty, which is, I'm doing a lot slowly now, but I'm kind of vibing with the kind of like, uh, casual nature to kind of getting cavalier difficulty done rather than the intense nature of getting it done and like boom 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 it's out and get it done but uh, I definitely do that next month because there's a lot of stuff I need to catch up on a uh, busy month for the game and on Monday we'll see the end of the cyber weekend deals it may be a case this extends into Tuesday but I want to say better to be safe than sorry and say that if it's by 6 p.m. 10 a.m. PST on a Monday that you've gone and grabbed what you need to uh, also if people are, a lot of people said like am I gonna be wailing out and I'm gonna be buying stuff when it comes to the deals it largely depends on the deals like, I've got myself some uh, some iTunes cards so there's stuff like I've got for my birthday and I have made the I'll make a decision Decision to get something if there's anything good. Command let me down um, when it comes to the July 4th deals last year, or sorry, this year, and I just kind of feel like if there's not something there that's going to tick some boxes, for me it was tier 5 class catalyst, and it wasn't really there in some of the unit deals, and not really that much in the spending deals, it didn't interest me, and it didn't impress me. So that's something as well, if Kabam want my money, they're going to have to up the stakes when it comes to what they're going to deliver. Monday also sees, as we know, the refresh to the black ISO market and as well the second rotation of the uh, Icarus and uh, Ebony Moore War Machine and Ultron choice selector and I kind of feel like this will be where people will want to grind more so with the um, the Icarus featured rather than the other ones it could be a good opportunity on the round two because we'll do the, the results here on the channel that you may want to go for the basic because it will be a low cutoff to get a, a six star even if you're not not, not, not a desperate for six stars. And also Monday may see a little bit of a buffed champion and new update being brought in. Now the point of recording this video, which is Thursday, Kabam haven't revealed to anybody in the CCP and the information's not there for the update that's coming in next month. So there could be a few things we're kind of in the dark on. So I'll try and keep I see if I can update you on the Friday. Uh, so, you know, hopefully we get some more info apart from that there's not much else going on for the monday now on tuesday i think this is kind of like the the glory day to say um not glory literally but uh, it's a glorious day because hercules is going into the basic uh the basic pools which is going to be very important for players that want to uh, try to acquire him and let's face it it's a large pool to kind of kind of grab but if you've got like dual class cl catalyst and you want to save up some uh, tech slash cosmic, this may be a good start. Maybe save up a high volume in order to go for him. And this would be where my six star Hercules would go if I had him, 
which I don't. So that's that's sad. I don't have him at five star, six star. So, you know, sad sad times for me. But you know, other people do do be go doing good. So good for them. Now on to Wednesday first. This is actually in the future. Unfortunately, uh, whilst I've been trying to make this video, there's been an issue where Kabam have decided that they don't want to put the information for December side event uh, or kind of the quest in general in for uh, the Friday 27th, no, Friday 26th. So uh, I've kind of like had to like change around my schedule of, uh, of recording and also what I'm recording. So yeah, yes, 1st of December, new event day, new quest stuff, but I can't kind of go into the details of the stuff that I edited in here because it's uh, not, we're not allowed. So on Monday, it will be the side event info. If you've seen yesterday's video, you'll understand why I've made this adjustment, but I don't want to have to scrap an entire video because it's like several hours worth of work just gone right out the window. So yeah, uh, <laughs> Wednesday 1st, December, new content. That's it. More info on Monday. And then Thursday comes along and again, as we then go back to plateauing with anything interesting going on, the next things that are gonna be exciting is gonna be with the anniversary coming in in the following week. Uh, but here's the thing, Purgatory is gonna be going into the basic arena. I would say that it's gonna be a Joe Fixer or Hawkeye to be the main champions within it, but you never know, Kaban might put a selector or some random champion. Rumour is that this is a one champion month and at the point of recording this video on Thursday the 25th of November I have not been confirmed from Kabam what it is going to be. Rumour is it's going to be Craven the Hunter but at the same time there could be another champion. It depends how much they are embargoed and NDA'd by Marvel Studios about releasing any type of content. But it could be two champions, it could be one champion. They did that uh, last year and they did that the year before with Silver Surfer. But we'll have to see. Nothing's been confirmed yet by Kabam at the point of recording this video. And also Thursday does see the spicy. The spicy being the reset of the top zone bonus and the milestone rewards and a refresh of the crystals in incursions. Yes, it's all going incursions if you are interested in grinding it out. Because, yeah, you know, people do be liking incursions. Nothing wrong with incursions. If I had the time, I'm sure I would indeed do it. But, you know, these reset and you can have a jolly good time as well. Uh, with these, um, I think actually this may go into the following day, Friday, with the uh, the breakdown of time. And the grind tip of the week is going to be all about preparation. Now, the first thing, I kind of like starting off with Cyber Weekend on this. Okay, so it's going to be a crunch time weekend for you to pick up some extra units. And that's the thing, you're going to have to like think to yourself, do I need units for my main account for the purpose of Cyber Weekend? And if things start getting like away from you and you're like, right, well, I can only put in a thousand units, I can put in... You know, eight thousand units as I got as I've got here. Like, if there's nothing good there, then maybe it's important to like avoid it and kind of focus on your gifting event side of things for greater gifting crystals or or being competitive within that event as well. There's going to be lots of things on offer. Or start your saving for stuff like July Fourth. I know it's a long way away, but the thing is, you could start now and save for later on. Also look to like, you know, savings of units when you're not spending those units. If you're taking those things to revives and health potions, then go and do and repeat some content. Realm of Legends, some of the earlier content which I'm doing in particular to grab myself uh, revives in things like Act 3.2.6 is a lovely little return place which I just kind of go to pick up a revival to once in a while. I've got my energy here. I should be doing that right now, but I'm recording a video, damn it. So I pick up a revive from that or a full energy refill. Saves me 30 units for the full energy refill or saves me that revive in having to use elsewhere. Also double it up with uh, what's on at the time. When it comes to solo events, so Arena wins on at the moment. I'll probably knock out a little bit of Arena with some of my champions that five star or, or kind of six star that are going to give me those gains. So it means that, and, as, and to go back to what I said at the start of the segment, is saving your units by grabbing things like the health potions, energy refills, and revives by doing other things where my energy is kind of invested into. So that's kind of like one thing as well, saving those units for future endeavors like Cyber Weekend or some other things as well. It's also a good time to start making a new account for this, uh, for this game because you're able to this month pick up those Icarus and Xerxes and also you're gonna be able to get a Hawkeye and Ronin. Not to say that's gonna be a really good thing, but at the same time, it could be a beneficial thing for players moving forward and being able to grab certain things. So yeah, I do that, absolutely. The second thing when it comes to the so it comes to uh, like a, a grind tip is try to grab your gold and crystals. Now I have spent a lot of gold and I am not looking to kind of spend my gold crystals just yet. By doing some of the solo events as well as some of the other 
types of content that's out there you can get gold crystals as well as um, you know leaving some content to grind out whilst the anniversary boost is on and that's something that's coming around the 10th of uh, December you will be able to open these up or do content and increase by 20% your gold the same thing when it comes to battle chips now I did push the trigger and I did grab so I did spend open some battle chips but that did give me about 400 no 300 units close to 400 units um so hey i can't complain that was kind of like a nice grab but you can see like i'm saving back my gold crystals and the same thing with my uh greater i think it's greater uh, uncollected golden crystals so i am prepared for that to get back some gold very very uh very quickly we on with it and i do recommend an arena grind for anybody especially over december and especially with future content solo events that's coming on and some other things as well so yeah that's what you've got to do with it. So those are my grind tips uh, for the week to think about your December and maybe this be a more grindier December for you, but look what you can pick up as a result. Some really nice stuff as you've seen the video uh, yesterday. But any any case, that has been the video. Thank you very much for watching The Grind Show for Saturday. Have a lovely weekend, whatever you're doing. Lots of spicy things to do, lots of things to grind, lots to prepare for at the same time as well. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you're doing well and see you soon. Bye-bye.